there are big things on the pop culture horizon. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Comic Con 2019 trailers. For this list, we're looking at the very best trailers to have debuted at the 2019 San Diego Comic Con or to be released that weekend. Number 10 21 Bridges. You were gonna rob 660 pounds of coke. Did you drive a BMW two door to the job? Did you bring just one other guy with you? Did you only take 50 keys? This is either dumb luck. Or set up. With their extensive work in the MCU, the Russo brothers have risen to become among the most successful and high-profile directors and producers in the industry. 21 Bridges, which they're producing, sees them reuniting with Black Panther's Chadwick Boseman. The trailer shown at San Diego Comic-Con was the film's second, and it promises a tense, dark, and compelling tale of one NYPD officer's desperate attempt to bring two cop killers to justice. Everything about these guys has been competent so far. Cozy Island. Rhode Island. Manhattan. The film takes its name from the 21 bridges in and out of Manhattan that are shut down by Bozeman's detective Andre Davis to lock down the city. As the trailer makes clear, however, the situation is far more complicated, as are the lines between cops and criminals. Cops or criminals? If you have blood on your hands, I will find you. Number 9, Westworld Season 3. This HBO series, from its very first episode, set itself apart from the pack with its massive scale, incredible effects, and elaborate world building. You and I have no mother, no father. We're alone. And yet, despite setting the bar high from the outset, Westworld somehow manages to keep outdoing itself. The Comic-Con trailer for season three promises to take the action to a much larger scale, adding new players like Aaron Paul's character, Caleb. Tense, gritty, and teasing oh so many tantalizing conflicts to come, the trailer will have you on the edge of your seat. Lord made each of us for a reason, even Dolores. I came back to find someone who could help me. Someone strong enough to stop her if it comes to that. For devoted fans of the series, 2020 can't come soon enough. For fans who lost interest during the gap between seasons one and two, it's compelling enough to make you want to get caught up before season three premieres. <laughs> Number eight, Star Trek Picard. Have you ever been a stranger to yourself? Many, many times. Many a recognizable actor has served as a member of Starfleet in service of the United Federation of Planets over the decades, but few are as universally beloved as Sir Patrick Stewart's Captain Jean-Luc Picard. The SDCC trailer opens with Picard reminiscing about his past from his vineyard. Though it seems that he's embraced the quiet life, retirement isn't enough to keep a natural leader and hero such as himself from doing the right thing. And so, when a young woman comes to him for help, the action soon shifts off-planet. No, I have encountered a woman. She came to me for help. If she is who I think she is, she's in serious danger. The trailer promises a new adventure with high stakes, plenty of Picard's contemplative ways, and a healthy balance of both new and familiar faces. Translation, it feels just right. What the hell are you doing out here, Picard? Saving the galaxy. Engage. Number seven, Terminator Dark Fate. The first trailer for this high stakes sequel slash partial reboot received a fairly divisive response. For some, familiar faces were enough to have them feeling excited. Others opined that the action was too generic, with concerns about the new film's potential over-reliance on CGI. Well, in lieu of another trailer, the team behind Terminator Dark Fate instead brought a behind-the-scenes featurette to San Diego Comic-Con. Last night, I was standing there looking at a monitor. On one camera was Linda Hamilton. And on another camera was Arnold Schwarzenegger. I thought, holy f 
I'm making a Terminator movie. And you know what? Watching this footage, it's really hard not to feel excited, nostalgic, and hopeful that this might be the sequel to T2 that we've all been waiting for. It promises big, non-stop action, a well-earned R rating, and a return to the fundamentals of the franchise. Here's hoping. Number six, his dark materials. Gentlemen, there is a war raging right now with the Magisterium. Between those trying to keep us in ignorance and those willing to fight for truth and freedom. Who will stand with me? Funny, James McAvoy appears to be finished as Professor X, and yet he's starring in not one, but two of the highest profile trailers to debut at Comic-Con. More on the second one later. Philip Pullman's hugely influential trilogy of fantasy novels, His Dark Materials, was previously adapted to the big screen in 2007, but it failed to launch a franchise. Now it's getting the big budget small screen treatment courtesy of BBC and HBO. And based on this trailer, the creative team is well positioned to stick the landing. Ready to fight. These people need our help, Yorick. Let's go get them. Our heroine, Lyra Balakwa, is played by Daphne Keene, who became an instant star with her performance in 2017's Logan. Add Ruth Wilson, Clark Peters, Lin-Manuel Miranda, and some beautiful cinematography, and you've got a winning recipe. It's time. I know. Number five, Rick and Morty. Like with Terminator Dark Fate, this isn't technically a trailer, but there was no freaking way we were gonna leave this off the list. Uh, that's not how apps work. Then make it how it works! This is our first real look at Rick and Morty season four. Without more context, it's hard to say what's going on in this clip, but it looks like the family's gotten themselves involved in the often frustrating world of app development. Rick sadly doesn't get any screen time, but even without him, this feels like a classic moment in the making. You think we're stupid, but we're not. We know apps have something to do with servers. The server's on the mothership. Where's the mothership? It's coming. Take us to it. No. Yes, shake it more, Morty. That was working. Take us to the mothership! The time between seasons clearly hasn't done much to heal Morty's increasing mental instability, and as for Jerry, well, he's useless as ever. And is that Taika Waititi voicing Glutie the alien intern? Yes. Yes, it is. You can't stay mad at a guy with this kind of talent. Dad, you can and you have to! Number four, Top Gun Maverick. Did we need a sequel to Top Gun? No, no, we didn't. Especially not 34 years after the original, which remains an enduring time capsule of late 80s America. You should be at least a two-star admiral by now. Yet here you are. Captain. What is that? It's one of life's mysteries, sir. But you know what? This trailer totally works. It strikes a perfect balance of self-awareness, nostalgia, and the dynamic high-octane visuals that have become Tom Cruise's bread and butter in recent years. What has Lieutenant Pete Maverick Mitchell been up to all these years? Pretty much the same old stuff. And you know what? In these tumultuous times, maybe a bit of good old-fashioned fun is exactly what we need. The plot largely remains a mystery, but really, Top Gun has always been about mood. And Maverick has got that in spades. The end is inevitable, Maverick. Your kind is headed for extinction. Maybe so, sir. But not today. Number three, The Witcher. Has Netflix got their very own Game of Thrones? It's too early to tell, but from the looks of this trailer, the budget is certainly there. I remember hearing stories. About witches. Is it true what they say? Henry Cavill could use a little extra scruff on that jawline, but nitpicking aside, he looks like Geralt of Rivia come to life. And the world they've built for him is simply breathtaking. You can't outrun destiny just because you're terrified of it. It's coming. Find Geralt of Rivia. This trailer teases epic battles, supernatural forces rendered in stunning detail, high stakes drama, and plenty of brooding from our stone-faced protagonist. For fans of the video game series and the Witcher novels, from which this series is adapted, this is must-watch television. For those unfamiliar but itching for more adult-oriented fantasy with high production value, it's definitely worth checking out. <laughs> Thank you.
Number two, Watchmen. Who are you? Who am I? If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't be wearing a mask. Anytime somebody tries to do anything with Alan Moore's landmark 1986 limited series, people get heated. This is, in the eyes of many, the pinnacle of graphic novels as a medium. And so, when it was announced that this series would actually be an original story set in the world of Watchmen, well, the reaction from fans was a divided one. Soon thou shalt save us, and we will whisper. But watching this trailer and taking it at face value, trying to drop the baggage, it's honestly hard not to be blown away. You know how you can tell the difference between a masked cop and a vigilante? No. Me neither. It's stylish. It has a clear sense of identity and a lot to say. The conflict and characters are immediately engaging. In short, the trailer promises a series that does the source material proud, without retreading the same old narrative ground. Nothing. Ever. Just begun. Not quite at the end yet. Almost there though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. All right, back to business. Number one, It Chapter Two. Please. <laughs> There's something rotten in the small town of Derry, and it refuses to stay dead. The misfits that made up the Losers Club are all grown up and are now being played by A-listers like James McAvoy, Jessica Chastain, and Bill Hader. As our narrator Mike reminds us, moving away from Derry might enable one to forget the horrors inflicted by Pennywise the Clown, but returning home, it all comes flooding back with a vengeance. Something happens to you when you leave this town. The farther away, the hazier it all gets. But me, I never left. In 2017, filmmaker Andy Muschietti introduced a whole new generation of viewers to arguably Stephen King's most terrifying monster. But as this trailer shows, he saved the scariest stuff for the sequel. For 27 years, I dreamt of you. I craved you. I missed you. This trailer is sure to pack theaters though it might have equally scared more than a few people away. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.